Hello. I want to start off by welcoming you to this brief tutorial on how to apply to San Bernardino Valley College. My name is John Tenorio and I will be assisting you in a step-by-step -step process on how to apply online. So let's begin. Let's start by going to www.valleycollege.edu. This is the San Bernardino Valley College homepage. Click Apply at the top right-hand corner. Located in the center of the page, find the Click Here to Apply button. You must create an OpenCCC.net account. Click on Create an Account. In order to create an OpenCCC account, you must have a personal email. Click on Begin Creating My Account. Please enter your first name, your middle name if you have one, and your last name. You may enter a suffix if you are a junior, the second, the third, or the fourth. Click here if you went by a previous name. If not, click no. If you have a preferred name other than your legal or previous name, click yes. If not, click no. Please enter your date of birth, starting with the month, the day, and the year. Then confirm it at the bottom. The next section is already marked for you. This box states that you plan on applying for admissions to college or financial aid. Please be sure that the Social Security field is filled in. It is possible to skip this, however doing so increases the fees assessed to each student. In order to reverse the fee increase, the student must bring a physical copy of their Social Security card to the San Bernardino Valley College Admissions and Records Office. If you have chosen to bypass this, check the box located at the bottom, which indicates that you have declined to provide a Social Security number at this time. Please enter a personal email, not a school email, and make sure that you check it frequently. Next, you'll enter a main telephone number. This is the telephone number in which you can be reached, followed by a second telephone number, which is usually a house number or a second cell phone. The next section is your permanent address. If you reside outside of the United States, please check the box on top. If you have no permanent address, please check the box underneath. If the questions do not pertain to you, you may continue by leaving them blank. Enter your street address, followed by your city, your state, and the zip code. The next step is to create a username and password. Please make sure that you write this information down and is accessible in case you forget this information. For additional security, please create a four digit personal identification code, followed by a few security questions you can set up yourself. Your OpenCCC.net account has now been created. You should be receiving an email shortly about your account creation. You may want to hang on to this email just for your records. Let's start by logging into your OpenCCC.net account. Go to www.valleycollege.edu. Click on Apply, located at the top right-hand corner. Located at the center of the page, click here to apply. Let's continue by entering your username and password. Let's begin your San Bernardino Valley College application. Click on Start a New Application. Please make sure that you're applying to the right term and year. Please review and select what best describes your educational goals. You may change your goals anytime during your academic career. Next, tell us a little bit about your major or field of interest. And if you haven't decided, you can simply choose Undecided at the bottom of the list. Please take the time to review your account information. Edits can be made to your account by hitting Edit Account, located on the right side of the screen. Next, you may scroll down and make sure that your current mailing address is the one that's stated above. If no corrections need to be made, click Continue. For college enrollment status, select Enrolling in High School or Lower Grade and College at the same time. For high school education, select will be enrolled in high school or lower grade and college at the same time. The next section is the last high school you attended. Click on I attended high school. Please enter the country, the state, and the name of your high school. Have you completed the 11th grade? 
If so, mark yes. If you haven't, select no. Next, provide us with your unweighted high school GPA, as well as the highest English course you've taken in high school, followed by the grade you received in that class. Do the same for the highest math course you've taken in high school as well. For college education, select no degree. Select the number of colleges or universities you've attended. If you haven't attended any, select none. Click Continue to proceed. The next question is about citizenship. Please select the one that pertains to your status. The next question is regarding your U.S. military status. Please make the following selection that pertains to you, a legal guardian, or your parents. The next question is about your California residency. Have you lived in the state of California continuously since the date displayed above? If so, click Yes. The next question is about out-of-state activities. Have you paid taxes outside of California? Are you registered to vote outside of California? Have you declared residency at a college or university outside of California? Have you filed a lawsuit or divorce outside of California? If none of these apply to you, you may leave them blank and continue. The next question is regarding special residency. At any time in the last 24 months were you determined to be homeless by any of the following agencies? If this applies to you, click yes. If not, click no. Have you ever been in court-ordered foster care? If so, click yes. If not, click no. Press continue to move on to the next page. This page is about your needs and interests. Let's start with main language. Are you comfortable reading and writing in English? Answer yes or no. Next, we'll move on to financial assistance. Are you interested in receiving information about money for college? Answer yes or no. Are you receiving general assistance such as SSI or CalWORKs? Answer yes or no. Are you interested in participating in sports while attending college? Answer accordingly. Next is programs and services. You may select a few programs and services in which you may be interested in. When you're done, click Continue. The next section is demographic information. This information will be used for state and federal reporting purposes. All these questions are optional, and you may choose to decline to state. The next section is about parent or guardian educational levels. Regardless of your age, please indicate the educational levels of your parents or legal guardian. If this information is unknown, you may select Unknown at the bottom of the drop-down menu. Are you Hispanic or Latino? Click Yes or No. Please check all of the ethnicity, nation, and ancestry group that you identify with. When you select a major ethnicity group, you will be given the option to select a more specific ancestry group. Select all that apply. Next is a series of supplemental questions. Please tell us how you heard about our college. Are you a single parent? Select yes or no. Please provide us with an emergency contact information. Please enter a full name, daytime, and evening phone number, as well as your relationship to this person. Next is your marital status. Are you married? unmarried, or declined to state. Next is the areas of interest. Are you interested in exploring STEM education and careers? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Answer yes or no and click continue. Your application is almost ready for submission. We recommend that you review your responses to ensure that you provide complete and accurate information. Please take the time to review the request for consent to release information. This allows us to share personal information such as your educational records, which may include your social security number. You are now about to submit your application to San Bernardino Valley College. After this, no changes can be made to your application once it's submitted. Please take the time to read this carefully and check all the boxes that apply before you move on. You are now ready to submit your application. Click on Submit My Application located at the bottom of this page. A confirmation page will appear. 
we encourage you to take a screenshot of this page for your records or save a copy of your application responses. Click Continue. Please take a few moments to fill out this application survey. Please share any comments you would like to make about this online application. When you are finished, click on Submit Survey. Now that your application has been submitted and your survey is complete, click Sign Out and Finish. In a few minutes, you'll be receiving a submission confirmation email that will look just like this. It will contain your confirmation number for your submission of the application. Please note that this is just a confirmation number and not your San Bernardino Valley College ID. Your application is now being processed and it may take up to three business days. Once it's been processed, you'll receive an email. This email will contain your San Bernardino Valley College identification number. Congratulations, you are now a Wolverine. I hope this video was helpful, and on behalf of the Valley Now and Generation Go program, we'd like to welcome you to your future. We look forward to serving you and your academic needs and wish you all the best.